Hi everyone, I am fresh out of doing um, readings for, um, you know, private readings and I decided that I will do re a reading for my our channel. And I have picked Rihanna because she's very fascinating. I have her, I have her picture right here. Okay, I have her picture, right? I have a picture right here, and I have picked Rihanna because media takeout has made Rihanna pregnant and has made her a living lover to her son. And media takeout insists that her son is her boyfriend, and Rihanna's fans go crazy over that business. Yet, I read more British newspapers than I read any other kind of newspapers because I'm biased like that. I was born and raised in a British colony, and also my journalism was British, and you know, the, the British don't play about facts. Okay, when an article appears in a British newspaper, it is correct and to the T. The British have never called Hassan uh, her boyfriend. Okay, and Rihanna herself has never called Hassan her boyfriend in the newspapers. Rihanna has hedged. She has said she's in love with Hassan. She has hedged. Do you know what I'm saying? She, she has never said she's in love with her son. She's always just said, I'm in love and it feels good to be in love. Then we see her out on dates with her son and her mother. The, the Americans have said Rihanna is living with her son. The British have said Rihanna is living alone and it's her damn house. And when we were looking at the pictures on British media about Rihanna's house, because she did let journalists into her house, even without my psychic ability, I said, oh my God, this is the house of a single female. And there was nowhere in the in these articles that said Hassan lived with her. These articles told the truth. Rihanna moved to England by herself because she's more comfortable in England and because she's getting more business in Europe than she's getting in the United States. She moved to England for business purposes and for her soul. She loves it, right? It had nothing to do with her son. The British newspapers have stressed that we, because they don't mention him at all. But the Americans are so are going crazy about the Hassan relationship. There's also her relationship with Jay Z and Beyonce. It's like um, she's very cold towards the Carters. And she's getting colder and more critical of the Carters on a daily basis. Rihanna is an amazing businesswoman. Of course, she was the richest self-made woman this year, self-made artist this year, worth almost 600 something million dollars. And it shows she is very savvy and she knows how to handle her press. And she handles her press very, very, very well. And she never says anything except that she did say she wasn't pregnant, but she never says anything about her personal life. Her fans just make assumptions in the same way that fans make assumptions about everything and everyone. And she just never says it's not true. So I decided to do Rihanna. Okay, shall we begin? I'm going to see who is right, the American media or the British media when it comes to Rihanna. Okay, is she her son's girlfriend or they just have good times sometimes? You know what I'm saying? The British are adamant she doesn't live with a man. The Americans, especially media takeout, are hemming and hoeing about how she lives with a man. So, we, like I said, I tend to believe that British journalism, even the gossip, is way better than anything else in the world. But like I said, I'm biased. I went to British schools and shit, shit like that, right? So, we're going to see... And we're going to examine all three relationships, right? We're going to examine Rihanna and her son. And then we're going to examine Rihanna and the Carter. 
um I do the last time I did Rihanna I even had a crazy fan writing to me that you don't know how to you don't you, you're not a reader you're a liar I had a lot of people saying that because what was on the board was simple and I think you can all still watch the video it's there what was on the board guys was very simple it was a case of Hassan and Rihanna they are in a sexual relationship. They are fucking like rats or rabbits or whatever. They are fucking a lot. He is in love with her. He wants to make her his wife as is according to his culture. Because I think Americans are quick to forget that Hassan has a very strong culture, right? They're quick to forget that. But anyway, he wanted to marry Rihanna he wanted to house her, as I call it. Wanted to put 2.2 babies in her. And he wanted her to stop singing. And, Re and his mother did not want Rihanna. His mother, because a lot of those situations in that part of the world, for Americans who don't know this, they are arranged marriages. Okay? Yeah. Because there are a lot of you who are very ignorant about that part of the world. So anyway, the mother wanted him to marry somebody else who looked like it was a cousin or so on. So she was very hostile towards Rihanna. And when I put my hand on this board, I comp Then you know what? The funniest thing is a fan said to me, Hassan and Rihanna are celebrating Christmas together. And I said, bitch, please. He a Muslim. He ain't celebrating Christmas. Okay. <laughs> I mean, these Saudi Arabians are as Muslim as they get. And I admire them for it because they stand by their religion. And that religion is really beautiful. When you take out all the propaganda and shit. And it actually emancipated women a great deal more than Christianity did. But we're not going to go into that. We're just going to go into this. So, you know, the, Rihanna's American fans are all about how he spent Christmas with her. And I'm like looking at them like, nah, that didn't happen. He's a Muslim. Okay. Highly likely she spent Eid with him. But anyway, because a man will change you first before you change him. Let's face it, Janet had to become a Muslim and Janet had to wear everything and Janet had to change for her to marry her husband. She changed. He didn't. That's how men work. It's that it has nothing to do with whether he's a Muslim or whether he's African American or whatever. In our culture, it clearly states a man will change you first before you change him so remember that please know that you have to be for the changes otherwise find something else to do with your life or find another man right so anyway i did see some changes in rihanna's mode of dress she has become more conservative but that could be the british influence and that could also be because she doesn't need to do that whole sexy nonsense because she's now very well established. But anyway, we're going to start with Rihanna and her son. So welcome to the courtroom of the Bantus, the largest landowners in Africa. Uh, uh. <laughs> Yes, we are. We are the largest landowners in Africa. Okay. Welcome to our courtroom, people. One and all. We're going to start with Rihanna and her relationship with her son. We're going to see what has happened to it now. Because in the last reading, Rihanna was not interested in actually having a real relationship. But her son might have worked his charm. Her son might have actually got the whole enchilada not just the sex and the good time sometimes we meet and we have a good time right okay rihanna 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 a very surprising woman has walked into this plate. She took her time. She's like, I'm the boss. And she was very arrogant about it. 
Yet when she sat in this plate, she looked very vulnerable, like a, a young girl. She looked very vulnerable and um, sad and lonely. I'm surprised. I'm always surprised. She's very lonely. She's she feels cut off from the world. She feels the world is over there and she's over here and she's trying to reach out and reach out and the world is not hearing her and it's making it a little bitter, a little twisted. She's smoking a lot. She no longer gets any joy from singing. So she she is looking for other avenues in which to grow. She's changed a lot of directions in her life. Even moving out of the United States was a huge direction change because she's looking for a place to belong and she's looking for a life she can feel, a life she can touch, not the fake life that is fed down her throat and our throats about her. So I'm going to throw Rihanna as a general reading on, on here. Okay, so this is Ms. Rihanna right here on the edge, the emotional desperation that is going with her isolation from other human beings. Do you see this? Isolation from other human beings. There was a relationship in her life, but that dude has walked. I don't know who has walked, but there was a relationship in her life, but that person has walked. This relationship is no more. Okay, I don't know who it is. Rihanna just did not love this person. Okay, there was no love. There were too many barriers of communication, culture, distance, time. It was too much for Rihanna. But at one point, she was really thinking of going for it. But then it became a nah, I'll stay where I am. And he has moved on. Very fascinating. But I don't know who he is, but he has moved on, right? And it's it's been some time. It has been some time. So it could be some past men, but we'll see. It could be some past relationship, some men she's still very much attached to. When I did her reading the last time, Chris Brown was all over the board. And she hadn't been with Chris for a long, long time, but he was all over the board. It could be that this is Chris. Is it? No. No, this is a more... It's so weird. These days I'm actually getting names. That's because I'm getting stronger. But this is a David. This is a David. And he is white. Wow. Are you white? This is a David. He is white. He met her through their business situations, business vibes. He's British. Yeah. He's British. And it didn't work out. It didn't she didn't love him at all. So maybe it wasn't that important. I'm just saying a man recently left her life in these last four months or so. She's not thinking about him, but he was there and is not there anymore. He was Caucasian. She's saying he helped her move to England. Right? She's saying, you know, I needed the change. I needed to get out of the United States because my life wasn't private. You know, I had all eyes on me at all times. I couldn't deal. It was making me crazy. I was going crazy. I was on the edge. I was on the edge. She's still, like, actually on the edge. And like I said, she's she's really smoking a lot. She's, she's going through it in her own way. Maybe it's the month of September. Who knows? But she's going through it. Okay, so. She's really going through it emotionally. Okay, so this is all Rihanna has accomplished. And the girl has accomplished a hell of a lot. The girl has a lot going on for her. 
the girl employs a whole lot of people. And wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. A, a pregnancy back in the day, back, back in the day, a black man knocked her up. Okay, but I, I believe that was Chris and she had an abortion because it actually shows that it's an abortion and she hasn't been pregnant since. Since that abortion, she has not been pregnant. Okay, but she has grown and thrived and she employs a hell of a lot of people. She has a lot of love from one parent, her mother. I Yeah, a lot of love from one parent and no love at all between another parent i do believe there's another sibling right here right but she's far away from them they live very far away from her and there is distance time space there's a lot of distance but she has a close relationship with her mother if her mother's still alive she has a very close relationship with mama and they are not close, cl you know what I'm saying? They talk, they talk, but she's not really interested in relationships as much as she is looking for peace of mind. We meet Rihanna when she's at crossroads. Well, it's the month of September. We meet Rihanna when she is at a crossroad in her life, okay? She's tired of singing. She doesn't want to do it anymore. But what is on offer is also something she doesn't want to do. She doesn't want to act. She doesn't want to do any of that stuff. She, she wants a different rhythm to her life. She wants to run her businesses and she wants to do good. She wants a different rhythm. He was like a partner or a, 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 an investor in her makeup line. That's how they met. She just wants a completely different rhythm of life. She's looking for something else because she can't live like this anymore. Okay, so now let us shake Rihanna and her son. <laughs> okay, Rihanna. And once again, she's sitting there. Okay, I'll only shake it once because she's already there. Her son. Her son. Hassan, this man really loves this woman. He like ran into the plate. Then he knelt in front of her and he took her hands and he's kissing her hands. He really loves this. So his feelings for this woman have not changed since the last time I did a reading. However, her feelings have not changed that much either. They have changed by like 10 degrees degrees okay they have really but she does say he's good in bed okay so anyway this is the hassan oh there you go there you go and the shell falls okay those who know what i know is that this doesn't bode well for this situation. <laughs> There's an element of violence. In, there is violence in this relationship. And it may not be um, physical violence, but it could be emotional or psychological. But there is violence. Now, let's see where the violence is coming from. Okay, let's do that, shall we? So this is Hassan, and this is Rihanna. And the violence fell on Hassan's side, which means it is Rihanna who is being violent towards Hassan. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, she is. Now, this is what, this, this, oh my God, there are more shocks on this board than I imagined. So, this is Rihanna. She was definitely in a relationship with a very good looking white guy. Okay, this was real. This was a going concern, this one. 
She left her son in the past. No joke. No joke, people. I don't care what the American newspapers are showing. Because British newspapers are not showing that. I don't care what American newspapers are saying. And I don't care what Rihanna's fans are saying. And please do not leave me horrible messages. You find uh, uh, Nicki Minaj's fans finally discovered that she never had a relationship with Lewis Hamilton. Yet they obsessed about Nicki and Lewis Hamilton for two years of their goddamn lives. Do not obsess, okay? Rihanna ain't your sister. She ain't your mama. She's just somebody who's living her life and you should also be living your life. And please do not leave me comments that say, sources say, okay? If you're asking sources, it means you are seven degrees separated from that person. Okay? I need evidence from that person themselves or their personal assistant, right? What it shows here. Is that there was a relationship that she was in with a Caucasian male named David. And they were in love. And guess what, guys? There was even a pregnancy. Huh. There was even a pregnancy. Yeah. Wow. There was even a pregnancy with this guy. But it went south. So now she is talking to her son again. So she left her son in the past. If for a few months or so. She left her son in the past. If for a few months or so. And they just started. They, they are talking again. But still there's so much distance. Right? But they are talking again. Her son on the other hand has a female who doesn't love him and who's also much much younger than him i do believe this is the arranged bride but he has a female and as much as he's loving as much as he has loved uh, uh rihanna he's turned his back on her so what are we seeing in the damn newspapers in the damn american newspapers then What are we seeing? Okay. They were on the boat to try and rekindle the relationship. They went to some basketball thing to try and rekindle the relationship after her relationship with this guy ended. Okay. So. Will her son and Rihanna be together? Will her son and Rihanna actually be together? Not for the press and not for whatever, but will they actually be together as a couple? Will Rihanna and her son be together as a couple? Will Rihanna and her son be together as a couple? Well, as I put my hand in the shells, her son is walking away. But let's see. Couple, couple for real? This is a no. But at the same time, it says, well, if they build on it, Rihanna is afraid of losing her independence. She doesn't want to be, she doesn't want to be controlled by a man. She just doesn't want to be. So she's keeping most of herself to herself. She doesn't. She doesn't want to be controlled by a man. This is her son. It's so sad. It's like the love is whatever. This The love is... These people are like fuck buddies. I help you, you help me. If that makes sense. And there is, once again, a very young female in between them. There's a, a young female who wasn't there before, who is there before. Okay. And I'm going to leave it at that. Because I know Rihanna's friends are going to lose their hair. They're going to lose their pubic hair. Their vaginas are going to fall off. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> because they live vicariously through stars. They don't really have their own lives. And I totally get it. Having your own life is so boring. And they live through stars. And they want the best for Rihanna. And Hassan is the only man they know. Maybe if they knew the other guy, they would also like him. You know. Okay. Let us go to Rihanna's relationship with Jay-Z and Beyonce. Rihanna's relationship with Jay-Z and Beyonce. Rihanna, what's your relationship like with Jay-Z and Beyonce? Rihanna, what's your relationship like with Jay-Z and Beyonce? Rihanna, what's your relationship like with Jay-Z and Beyonce? Okay, check again. Rihanna, what's your relationship with Jay-Z and Beyonce? Rihanna, what's your relationship with Jay-Z and Beyonce? Okay. Hmm. Secrets. They share a lot of secrets from the past. I'm going to shock you all and I'm so gonna shock myself okay oh my god I have I'm shocked okay I'm refusing to accept this. Okay. <laughs> I'm refusing. Okay. <laughs> I'm refusing to accept this. Okay. Let me say it out loud. So they have a lot of secrets from the past. And one of the secrets from the past is that Rihanna and Jay-Z fucked and Rihanna got pregnant. Okay. This right here is Rihanna pregnant. And this right here is Jay-Z. And they are very attached to each other right now. Right? And it was a pregnancy that was aborted. Okay? And this right here is Beyonce. And she's staring at the two of them. Which means she knew. So for... So what I needed to do to get to that truth very early on, like at the beginning of the year or whatever, when I did these two people, what I needed to do was to shake both Beyonce and Rih both Beyonce and Jay Z and Rihanna together because this is a situation where all three souls were involved when i did just rihanna and jay-z i think in a rihanna and jay-z reading i didn't see this but it appears that the soul that is beyonce is showing me what she knows you know am i making sense because when there's an extra soul on the board, secrets come out that wouldn't otherwise come out if the two other souls are on the board and they're just not talking about it. They're just not talking about it. So it appears that having... So this is Beyonce staring at the two of them. This is Rihanna pregnant. This is Jay-Z. So... So, this led to the separation. Okay. But, now you're going to find this. It didn't lead to the separation. Now you're going to find this very interesting. Maybe that's why it didn't come out. Maybe that's why Rihanna moved to London. Okay. This is Rihanna in the past, past, past. Get what I'm saying, guys? This is Rihanna closer to the future that we know now. 
So I don't know the relationship between these three people. Okay. But this right here, when I put my hand here, it says that this situation of Jay-Z and Rihanna only happened after they stopped working together. It is more recent than we think. I don't know how recent it can be. But certainly not 10 years ago. Maybe they were, they met on sort of equal ground or something like that. Wow. It's more recent, which makes sense because the hostility is more recent. Rihanna is saying that's why she had to get away. She had to start her life all over again. She had to clean this mess and she had to get new people. You know, because if you keep seeing the same men all the time, shit happens. Then you are stuck in a situation you don't want to be in. I needed to be in a new country, new people, something new. Okay. So I don't think this was a relationship. Was it a relationship? No. It was more like maybe a one night stand or a one week stand or something like that. But it just had consequences. Consequences that made this woman change her entire life because she wanted something better and something different. Hence the friction. Maybe the, the, the time I read it, that hadn't happened. So I'm looking at her picture. She has the saddest eyes. I'm looking at her picture from, you know, the, the last, um, her diamond ball. She has the saddest eyes. When I saw her picture with um, Cardi, Cardi was like such a fan and Cardi was so warm. But then Cardi by nature is is um real you know what i'm saying and she was so warm and she was such a fan and she was being so affectionate but rihanna's feelings and emotions were guarded rihanna saw was saying to cardi so don't get too close don't get too close do you know what i'm saying and it's the same as her picture her picture is like warning the world not to get too close. Usually when that happens, a woman has suffered a broken heart. So let's see. Rihanna, did you suffer a broken heart? Rihanna, did you suffer a broken heart? Rihanna, did you suffer a broken heart? Let's ask. Because usually a woman withdraws like that. That would be a no. <laughs> a no. It's a definite no. I don't know. There is this. Okay. There's a pregnancy thing that keeps coming up with Rihanna. No matter what. It keeps coming up. Hmm. It keeps popping up. Okay. She already said she's not pregnant, but so I'll leave it at that. I'll take her word for it because, man, I, I, you know, I'll take her word for it. I'll ask you, said, will you have children, Rihanna? Will you have children, Rihanna? Will you have children, Rihanna? Rihanna drinks a lot. She drinks a lot. She drinks until she's passed out. Definite no. 
so it appears but again pregnancy shell but it's upside down like an abortion or um, a miscarriage someone asked me uh, if I could explain uh, abortion or miscarriage right and and I gotta tell you that How do I know an abortion or miscarriage? This I know is an abortion. I know it's an abortion. Okay? I just know it. What I saw on Rihanna's board were nothing but abortions. Okay? That's what I saw. I didn't see a miscarriage. I just saw abortions. How do I see that this is a miscarriage and this is an abortion? An abortion is usually a healthy pregnancy that's not carried to full term. So then a healthy child that's not carried to full term. So in the metaphysical, that healthy child is there. But in real life, it's they're not there. Because I don't know how many abortions I've seen with Rihanna. You know, like... She could be maybe a mother of three because in the metaphysical world, that's basically about, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's basically the number of souls that are there. And that's why I don't personally believe in abortion because the flesh will die, but the soul doesn't. Okay. But it's, 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 it's. Women have abortions because they have no other choice. There is not a single female who goes and does that uh, out of joy and happiness. It's a sacrifice that she has to make. Every female who aborts, it's a sacrifice that she has to make. It's either her life or, you know, that situation, right? A miscarriage. The shell is showing that there's a miscarriage, but there's no soul to back it up. Does that make sense? I said an abortion here in a soul said yes. Me. Okay. But when it's a miscarriage, there's no such thing because in the first place, God took the soul before the miscarriage happened because the soul decided, I don't, I don't want to be here. You know what I'm saying? So there is no soul. So if I put my hand here and I say abortion, it's because I see a soul. Right? A soul can just be light. Just the light going, woo, -woo right? Because it may not have, you know what I'm saying? Or sometimes, yeah, you know, a light, woo, then you know that this was an abortion. A miscarriage is just dead. There's no soul because God already took that before that happened. That's how I see it in my metaphysical world. I don't know how other metaphysical scientists see it. And I always say we interpret things from our cultural background and what we, you know, and our belief systems and everything else. So we interpret things differently. But this is, I, I see that there were quite a few abortions not a few, not a lot, but let's count them because I don't remember this reading. There was one earlier on. There was a second one with the white guy. There was a third one with an insinuation of Jay-Z because metaphysical science has no proof, okay, until a 100 years from now. Okay, and those who want to hold it against me because they don't want to believe, I'm okay with that. Because you know what? There's no proof. I can't prove shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm okay with that. Just don't attack me about it because I've had a few newbies attacking me about it. Metaphysical science has no scientific proof, has no physical scientific proof, okay? Except that they use us to solve cases and they use us for all sorts of covert operations. There is still no scientific proof, right? So everything I'm getting here has no proof. However, in about a 100 years, when I'm long gone, there will be proof of metaphysical science. 
but for now let's look at this as nothing but mere speculation and for entertainment purposes only and the one thing these readings are not meant to do are to hurt the people we are reading instead they are supposed to help us learn something about their lives and how they've handled their lives that may help us in our lives Let's copy the good things from other souls and let's get rid of the bad thing, what we think is bad, in our own souls. This I do for you to reflect unto yourself, not to come and yell at me about another soul with another life that has absolutely nothing to do with you, no matter what you think. Okay, so there's no proof here. However, I have counted three. with like a fourth maybe because i forgot now i forgot it but anyway, i hope i have explained it and i don't know rihanna fans and i'm also a fan i have some of her songs i don't know rihanna fans i think you're all living in la la land the way um Nicki Minaj's fans were living in La La Land about Louis. But you know what? I live to stand corrected. I live to see some difference. Because Rihanna is a mighty strong woman. Metaphysically and mentally and in every way. She is very bitter about Jay-Z though. Her bitterness is more towards Jay-Z than Bay. So maybe maybe she, her feelings were in it and his were not. I don't know. But when I put my hand on the board, she's very, very bitter about him. These two will never be friends. They might fake it, but they will never be friends. They are walking two different paths in life. Okay. So I, I, I live to, to stand corrected by Rihanna. When she shows us that she's truly in love with her son and when we see them get married. And I'll say, okay. And um, I live to see, uh, to be correct. I live for the British to be corrected by media takeout. Because the British say Rihanna lives alone. And media takeout says she lives with her son. So we'll see who is telling the truth. On that note, people. Bye. I think I'm done for today. And I will see you all up next week. Please, please, please be good to yourselves. And take care of yourselves and be kind to yourselves first. That's what I always say. I'm very unkind to myself. And I'm trying. And thank you for walking with me. It is the Bantu way and I, I love it and I hope you're walking next to me, not behind me, bitches. Okay. <laughs> I come from a culture where when you're in the village and you're a little girl, you ask or oh, twelve years old or whatever, you say to your friend, Can you can, can you come to the bathroom with me? And we go to the bathroom together because it's too traumatic to go to those outhouses by yourself or to go into the bush by yourself so please walk with me do not walk behind me okay please walk with me and for the new arrivals we're so pleased to have you and um for the tourists lately you have been pooping in the fountains okay <laughs> Lately, you have been pooping in the fountains and you have been driving drunk on our streets and you have been rubbishing our country on a daily basis. Yes, you have. And the police has been working very hard to contain it. In just this last two weeks or so, I have blocked so many people, more people than I've ever blocked, right? These are the rules of our countries and you are of our country and you are holding the, you know, when, when we give you a visa, you don't even, we don't even give you a visa. You bring yourself to us because we're free like that, right? These are the rules, tourists, new citizens 
who have arrived. These are the rules. Okay. We do not insult each other. Nor do we insult me. Because I am a very, very sensitive bitch. As all psychics are. Okay. All psychics are very, very sensitive because that is what gives us our psychic ability. And darkness comes in words all the time. And you may not know this, but I can tell a person, I can give a reading to a person following their energy from the comments they have written anywhere online. I can follow your energy and give you a reading about yourself. I can do that. I don't know if other metaphysical scientists can do it, but I can do it and I have done it. And every time there has been a horrible comment, like the one I just blocked today who said, but why are you hollering? Don't I like bitch? How is it your business how I handle myself and how I choose to represent the house of Isabel? Okay? How is it your business? Has it changed your life in any way? But just by me giving out that little bit of emotion, I'm all, my energy is already going towards that individual. And the individual is always w one of two things. One, they are very dark. Pretending to be otherwise. Very dark. They they use their words as weapons because they don't have anything else to use to bring darkness and disharmony into the world. So they spit it out. Two, they have mental health issues. And for those with mental health issues, my I really feel for them. They have mental health issues. And mental health issues are a big problem in the world. Right, usually people who obsess about stars have mental health issues. When they can't separate their own lives from the life of a star, they have mental health issues. And I get a lot of those who can't separate themselves from a star. Those I just feel for them. Okay, and I wish there were more psychologists and more psychiatrists out there and the stigma of having mental health issues should be eradicated. It really should be eradicated because everybody deserves to live a peaceful, healthy life and being healthy is just not physical. It's also very mental. So for those, I feel sorry for them. Okay. But I still block them because saying ugly things and putting it out into the universe affects everyone. You only get one chance. So be careful what you're, with what you're saying and what you're writing. Okay? You only get one chance in life. And honestly speaking... Let's all strive to stay in the light. I strive to stay in the light every day. Okay. I'm a sinner. Okay. I'm not going to stand there and pretend that I'm not a sinner. Okay. I am a sinner. Okay. And I need all you all to also help keep me on the straight and narrow because you're walking beside me. You're not walking behind me. Okay. I'm a sinner. I do some shit. I say some shit, and especially since I have four ancestors who walk who walk with me, and when I get angry, they get angry, I get out of hand with my rage. You know what I'm saying? I really get out of hand with my rage. I probably get angrier than the average person, so I try not to. Mm -hmm. I try very hard not to get angry, but because I'm psychic, little things upset me. Little, little, little things upset me. So, yeah, I'm a sinner. I'm a work in progress and proudly so. Okay, so see you next week. Maybe I'll do a marathon next week. But today, that's all you get. <laughs> Bye.